Hey, what's up, guys? This is Astronix, and I'm back with another Epic 7 video. So, in this one, I want to show you Aether in uh, Wyvern 11. So, uh, here are his stats, and it's it's not good, but I just want to uh, showcase him. Four star only, no skill ups. So, uh, yeah, let's just go. So, the reason I want to do this video is to show you how good his uh, multipliers are so let me talk about them Aether uh, skill 2 is uh, the healing is 15% of the targets max HP plus 45% of his attack if you soul burn let's say uh, let's say you want to solo heal with him and uh, you have a knight in front right you have an ice knight in front you could do it but let's say you don't have Rod of Amaryllis or you don't have Celestine Then it, it's it's gonna be rough. You're gonna need some some really good stats a Lot of speed. Well, it, it's mostly about the speed because the scaling with the attack to be honest is uh, Nothing amazing It's all about that uh, Target max HP unless yes if it scales with attack, it's good in the sense that let's say your knight has balance, balance stats, uh, high HP, high high defense. Then, yeah, it's gonna help. But let's say your your knight is let's say full on defense, uh, mostly a defense percentage and some uh, health percentage uh, on his stats. Then the uh, the part where it scales with uh, the attack of Aether is gonna help more. So. That's skill 2. On auto, it's going to be 15% of the target's max HP plus 45% attack of Aether. On skill 3, it's going to be 15% of the target's max HP plus 35% attack. But, skill 3, you can lower the cooldown from 4 turns to 3 turns, which I don't have. And it also applies a barrier. And the strength of the barrier, you see this? 3200 uh, something healing. That's skill 2. And skill 3 applies a bear that the strength of the bear is 15% of the target's max HP. So together, it's 30% of the target's max HP, which is a lot. And yes, the Wyvern can dispel. Shoots a fireball at the enemy, dispelling one debuff. Okay, that's... Has two. That's the thing that was that, that was I was confused initially. It says shoot a fireball at the enemy, dispelling one debuff. I mean, no, it's not dispelling one debuff. It's dispelling a buff on the target randomly. So let's say you have multiple buffs. It could not uh, remove. Let's say you have defense uh, buff. It might not get removed. Something else might be removed instead. Maybe you resist. But uh, that's why uh, the best knights for. Uh, for tanking here in the front line are not going to be the ones that apply defense buff beside beside one but uh, if you want to pair either with a knight i would say that your best bet where is it your your best bet to be honest there's the top knight is fighter maya uh, she's light and every time she gets attack she gets defense buff. So you, you're always gonna have defense buff. Uh, unless, uh, as soon as you start the battle, you won't have it because of course you didn't get attacked. And uh, after after the barrier phase, you're gonna have, you, you might have lost it. But for the rest of the time, you're gonna have defense buff. So other knights beside the uh, fighter Maya, which deals quite a bit of damage too uh, with high defense is uh, Crozet. Crozet has amazing stats but also it's Crozet and then Basque. So I'll talk about uh, their stats here. No, I mean their skill. The reason why Crozet is so good is because he uh, can apply attack down debuff between 50% chance to 75% chance depending if you skilled him up. He's free, he's a 4 star, he's for free, you just get him from the connection. 
and uh, yeah, attack down debuff just cuts the attack, the damage in half of the wyvern, and that helps you toward uh, applying. Where is it? If the caster has two or fewer debuffs, greatly increases damage dealt. So if you apply three debuffs on the wyvern, he's gonna deal way less damage. So it could be useful there if you manage to have three debuffs. Oh, maybe these are good. Let's see. Let's see. Hit. Ah. So you see that that's quite a bit of healing. Aether has terrible stats. I'm not using Rod. I'm not using Celestine. I I'm using uh, Raynan's Memorandum, the three-star artifact to gain some speed every time I attack. So nothing insane there. But imagine with Rod how powerful uh, he is. And or with uh, Celestine, but Rod is better. Let's uh, let's just start another one. Rod is better because it heals between where is it? Between 18% and 24%. So it, at plus 15, it's going to be 18% of the target's max HP. It's it heals the the lowest HP uh, teammate. I mean, it could be uh, himself. So at plus 15, it's 18% healing, and at plus 30, it's 24%. Celestine and Rod is when you use a non-attack skill, so skill two and three. Uh, skill two is only on a two, on a two turn cooldown, and skill three is uh, on a three turn cooldown if you get the skill up. Celestine is when you attack, it's between 12% healing, um, 12% of the target's max HP in healing to 16%. So 12% is with plus 15 and 16% uh, is with uh, plus 30. So it is much easier if you have any of these two on a Aether. So I was talking about uh, Knight. So yeah, you've got Crozet and you got Basque. Basque was free. If you didn't get the limited uh, hero Basque, you can always get Crozet. Crozet is, be is better. Crozet is better. He has better stats. He's got like a hundred defense uh, more than Basque. And not only that, Crozet is so good. Wait a second. Where did I write this? So they both have attack down debuff between 50% chance and 75% chance. And. Also, Crozet, if you go below 50% uh, health, anyone on your team, but it's going to be himself because he's going to be in the, in the front, he applies a barrier automatically. He applies a barrier. The strength of the barrier is 15% of the target's max HP, and you can skill it up, skill it up to be uh, stronger. Thing is, this gets applied automatically every two turns, and you can just turn off his skill so he doesn't use his uh, skill 3 because it reduces combat readiness, which it doesn't matter because you don't want to use it because the wyvern is immune to combat readiness reduction. So you pair, like let's forget about Fighter Maya. Fighter Maya is off element. She's gonna take 30% uh, more damage anyways. She's gonna have permanent defense buff, which is a 60% defense increase, which is really good. But she's taking 30% more damage because she's off an off element. She's also a Moonlight Summon four star. So let's just forget about her. Let's just think like Crozet is in the front and you've got Aether healing then I mean first if you drop attack down debuff you're uh, relieving some pressure because if you notice if you have a debuff on the wyvern he will do all three attacks he will do all three attacks before losing the debuff let's say it's, there's one turn left which is going to be the case with the attack down debuff. Look, defense down debuff is still applied, so attack down debuff would stick for all three attacks. And then you get that free 15% uh, barrier, which is gonna work because on the first, like, it deals damage before dispelling. So, yeah, you're gonna lose that barrier and you, you're gonna mitigate some of the damage or all of the damage depending on how uh, tanky your Crozet is. Now, in terms of artifact for your knight, 
because I mean I'm talking about all the, these setups is the because like I can't build all these units guys I'm just trying to help you as best as I can so for artifacts you're gonna use noble or oat five star artifact on crozet because that's the best one uh, that's the best one by far uh, the lower your health goes the more defense and oh my god and effect resistance oh please baby please Oh, speed! Oh, no way, speed! Come on. Don't let me down. Gotta check battle result first. Uh, look, like, it, four star either. It doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter if he's four star, five star, six star, three star. Like, what matters is he survives uh, wave one. And yes, his stats will matter if you fail to break the barrier because you will take that uh, huge uh, AOE uh, attack that will dispel your um, your buffs and then deal damage. And then there is a shockwave that deals an insane amount of damage. But if you survive it, which you can with, with an Ice Hero with 7,000 HP and... Uh, 600 defense i showed it in my other wyvern video the the first one i did uh all at the end of the video they're gonna be on the screen uh, my other uh, two uh, wyvern 11 videos but uh yeah you can just survive have uh, you could even if you have angelica and aether and let's say uh two damage dealers or one damage dealer and one support uh if as long as you survive the barrier you're good and you you'll eventually down the wyvern all right, so let's check these boots. Come on. Oh my God. Oh no, the substats. The stats, substats were good too. Oh my God. It's always like this. It's always like this. All right. So, so yeah. If you are, let me just go quickly here in the journal. Okay, I've been talking about noble oath, right? If you're lucky enough to have this thing, look at how strong it is. So let's say you got it to plus 15 because you only have one copy. It's going to be 12.5%. Uh, uh, half of 25%. So 37.5%. Uh, uh, I mean, it's usually not dot five. So let's say it's 38%. Uh, Increase defense and effect resistance. We don't care about the effect resistance, but that's a nice defense boost. The lower your health goes, and for survival, you have always have this option. Envoy's Pipe, you might have it at, uh, you might be able to uh, get it to plus 30 if you summon a few of them. And yeah, look, that that's good, that's good. Defense, I mean, damage decreased by 20% when your health is below 50%. That's really good. So if you want to go with uh, either and use a knight, yeah, you've got Crozet. But also, do not, do not forget about other heroes like... I mean, there's a bunch of other knights. But let me just tell you that Rose is a viable option. If you have... Because, I mean, her stats are 6,200, 700 defense. Wait, this is quite good. But Crozet, look, his stats are really good. They're really good. And Basque. See, like, less defense. And, uh, yeah, if you want attack buff, you can definitely use Rose. A bit better speed. Defense is, is yeah, that, that's good. And every time she attacks with this skill and her health is below 50%, she will increase her defense. But I mean, it's gonna get stripped off uh, right off the bat. At least you can uh, have it used for the first attack or if you have multiple buffs, let's say she applied the attack buff, she's got attack buff, so maybe that gets stripped for the first attack. And then maybe, maybe you, get, uh, resist, you resist it and then the uh, attack number three, uh, you get the defense buff stripped off. But still, it's going to be up quite often. And 
yeah, you got barrier. But there are so many different uh, options, and for a free-to-play player, you've got Basque, and if you don't have it, well, Crozet, baby. Crozet. Get him here. Didn't get it, but yeah, look. That's what you do. I could get him if I want. But if you're farming, uh, if you've been farming Wyvern uh, 10, well, you most likely have all these done. Devotion skill grade S with all the free heroes we were able to get before. You, uh, yeah, I think, uh, and if you pulled a couple uh, copies of uh, three star heroes during your summoning, like, I've never spent any uh, Skystones for summoning. It's always been converted to energy. I'm free to play. And, uh, yeah, I, I got it uh, fairly easily. So, uh, yeah. There you have it, guys. And quickly, uh, just uh, I've been talking about Rod and Celestine. I mean, it's going to definitely lower the stat requirement. But worst case, you can always manual. And did I speak about it? If you manual... Aether uh, Soul Burn on skill 2, instead of 15% of the target's max HP and 45% attack, it's going to be 26% of the target's max HP plus 76.5% attack. And it's only 10 souls. So Rod and uh, Celestine. There is another option I didn't talk about. If you're using Angelica in front, and you need that extra healing. Shimadra Staff is very good. Shimadra Staff is going to help Aether and is going to help uh, Angelica as well. Angelica, why she's so strong is because... It's because her skill 2... Where is she at? It says here that recovers allies health as well as that of another uh, ally with the least health with healing power. So this thing has uh, a multiplier of 20% self each max HP, which is a ton. Like my Angelica, Angelica almost has uh, 20,000 health. She's at 19,000, 19,000 something. But if you add the skill ups, okay, so 20, let's say it's 20,000, right? That's gonna be 4,000, uh, 4,000 health that's going to be healed with this thing but since she's the only one taking damage in the front it's healing for another 4,000 so you're at 8,000 healing 8,000 healing on a two turn cooldown and then you've got this thing which is proccing all the time because the wyvern is attacking you three times in a row so out of these uh, three attacks it's going to be it's going to proc right and uh, yeah, it's it's pretty much she's gonna rotate between uh, two and three, uh, two and three, and she's gonna dual attack with this, but like she's gonna do a two and three all the time. And uh, the skill enhancement, yeah, it, it's it's good. Like I was able to do it without the skill enhancement before, but it's add the uh, add thirty percent healing and. I mean, mine is not at 20,000 health, that's why it was just like, the healing is like 9,995 when she uses skill 2. But the barrier, I mean, it's gonna be probably removed from uh, the attack of the Wyvern, but still, it is uh, it is quite strong. It is 15% uh, of her uh, of uh, the target's max HP and 15% uh, of her, uh, of her uh, self max HP. So it's, it's very good as well. But let's say if you want to do some skill ups, skill 2 is going to be major. It's going to be huge because you're going to combine it with Prophetic Candlestick. Which you definitely want to do if you're frontlining with her. Uh, some people were asking me, what if I have this knight? Let's say you could put Crozet in front, right? And you don't have too many, uh, like your stats are not that good on Angelica. You could have her in the back line. And you could have uh, like Rose in front, you could have Basque in front. The thing is, you won't be able to use this. That's the thing. And uh, I mean, her base speed is, is 90 speed, I believe. So yeah, you could do it, you could do it, but you won't be taking advantage of this. 
uh, having a knight that has better stats is gonna if you have noble old that's definitely uh, possible if you have noble old you could do it with uh, envoy's pipe as well but I'm just gonna go and check her uh, base stats Jesus yeah it's uh, her defense though I didn't know it was that high 743 good lord yeah so uh, her defense is so high that when you build her I feel like it's it's better to uh, if you build her in the front line because I'm using percentage health percentage health and percentage health her defense is so high that you could definitely uh, use one of these percentage defense and it's gonna she's gonna have better survival because of that because she's got so uh, such a high amount of uh, defense so that that's a tip for you guys and, and for myself because I didn't know her base uh, defense was so high so yeah I'm gonna wrap this up I'm gonna make another video uh, later on I want to do one for Hazel as well to show you her uh, healing output I've got her built mascot hazel and uh yeah i've got a bunch of other different uh, team compositions but i also want to make a guide with like all the best heroes and like all the multipliers and uh, all types of setups that you guys can uh, be running to really help you out with your quest at defeating uh wyvern uh, 11 so you can get amazing items amazing items like these i mean so good I'm just joking guys, I mean it could have been uh, like a speed main stat, it's just, it's RNG, like this game, you're not gonna rush into it and just get the best loot in two seconds, it, it's gonna take years to be get best in slot on multiple characters, I mean there's no best in slot, it, it's, it's almost impossible to get a perfect item, and even if you get a perfect item in each substats, and they roll perfectly, well, there's better item level in the raid, and then you let's say you get it in the raid well there's gonna be a new raid that comes out with a higher uh, item level ceiling so you'll never have the best item but that's the beauty of it you it's there's so much RNG you don't even have to like spend money in this game you can just find gear and just have fun rolling and try to get like better gear and just like uh, yeah that's the RNG and you might get super lucky and get like a crazy item with like uh, maximum speed and you could be like yeah I got this item I, like I got this item like no one got an item like this probably so yeah there's a uh, always these elements that are cool all right so that's gonna wrap it up oh wait let me show my gear real quick oh my god I've been talking for so long can't believe it's been time's just been flying by okay so uh skill ups kise uh turn our guard angelica and uh nope not you not you oh, I, I ate her there, there's no skill ups <laughs> so just pause if i go too quick thanks for watching guys i'm astronox like comment and subscribe for more press the bell icon if you'd like to be notified whenever i release a new video and uh, there's gonna be uh, the other Wyvern video are gonna be showing up on the screen, so check them out if you haven't already. And yeah, I, I made it the mistake of uh, saying that, uh, saying that um, the Wyvern like uh, I thought he wasn't dispelling. On your own hero with his uh, fire fire breath attack, his fireballs, but he definitely does. The wording is messed up. It it says that it's it's gonna remove debuffs when it's removing buffs. But yeah, it's gonna wrap it up, guys. Thanks again for watching. Check out the other videos. They should be on the screen now. And I'm out for now. Uh, just hit me up in the comment section. I'll try to help you as best as I can. And uh, well, everyone can just help each other as well. And uh, yeah, I'll be making more videos with uh, what I've been saying about team compositions. All right, peace out for now.